Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Ali Reza here and in this video we we'll look at taking screenshots in UE5. I'll cover a couple of tips and tricks which can help you to be more efficient and in the last part of the video I'll show you how to take screenshots when the level is being played. So let's jump right in and get started. If you want to take a screenshot from your viewport as fast as possible, all you need to do is pressing F9 on the keyboard. Here you can open it up and as you can see it's saved in the Windows editor folder in your project folder. Its size is based on the size of your viewport when you hit F9. So for example if you hit F11 to go full screen and then hit F9 you can see that the size is based on your screen size. The other way to take screenshots is to open up this menu here and hit high res screenshot. Here we can multiply the size of the screenshot by a number. For example, if we put it on 2 and take a screenshot, you can see that we can have an image with more resolution, but be careful not to bump it up too much, otherwise it will crash the software. A thing that is worth mentioning here is that when you want to take a screenshot, you probably don't want to have these icons and widgets in the image. So by pressing G on the keyboard, you can get rid of them. Another useful feature in the screenshot menu is use custom depth as mask. Using this option, we can define what we want to have in the screenshot manually. Just select the static mesh you want to have in your screenshots and then in its details, find render custom depth pass and enable it. Now you can see that we can have it in the screenshot with a green background so it's easier to work with in the post-production process. The last thing we are going to talk about is how to take screenshots in game. When we are playing the level, pressing F9 doesn't work and we need a blueprint to do the job. In this case, I'm gonna add it to my third person character so let's find it in the content browser and open it up. Here I need a keyboard input so let's add it to the event graph and choose a key for it and after that I need execute console command. Here in the command type high res shot with capital H R and S and after adding a space you can type the resolution you want with an X in between. You can also just type 1, 2 or 3 and this number will be multiplied by the screen size of the game. Yeah, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.